Mother, please, fine on set. This is also like medium to full cut. Excuse me. Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a full on get ready with me, starting from scratch. Okay, hair's crazy, still in my PJs. We're gonna do the full makeup, hair, and outfit, and also the little details that I like to do if I was going on a date. Mm -hmm. T sis, Sylvia's out here dating and shit. <laughs> Honestly, not really actually. I'm not even going on a date for this video. This is just what I would do if I did have a date, you know? So if you're forever alone like me, you can do this look to either a Christmas party or watch Netflix like I'm gonna do after this video. We got a lot to do because clearly, There's a lot to fix. Well, not fix, <laughs> enhance. I can hear my mom in my ear yelling at me right now. You're perfect the way you are, Sylvia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. We're gonna get glam because it's fun whether you do it for yourself or a date. That's up to you. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Turn those notifications on by clicking that little bell because I have a bunch of giveaways coming up for the holidays. We actually have one going on right now. You have the chance to win one of three palettes, my very own custom palette that I made with BH Cosmetics. I will be announcing the three giveaway winners next video, so you don't have much time to enter. If you haven't yet, just click the link in the description and follow the instructions. Good luck to everybody. And I'm gonna try and remember to shout out one of my loyal, loyal S Club members every single video from now on, whether you're buying my merch or my palette or just showing me tons of love, you could get the shout out of the video. Definitely forgot to do the video shout out of the day, but I'll do it now, it's fine while I'm editing. So shout out to Callie Ellsworth on Twitter. I saw that you purchased my palette and you're all excited about it. So thank you so much for the love and support. You are the Loyal S Club and you deserve this shout out. So shout out to you. Anyways, let's get started with the makeup. Okay, let's tame this hair back for a bit until we can get to it. So my skin's been feeling a little bit dry and I have been wanting to try the e.l.f. Booster Drops. I feel like I wanna see how it compares to the Farzali Unicorn Essence, which I've been using a lot recently because it just like soaks into your skin so quickly and just hydrates my skin. So I wanna see how this compares. So let's apply a couple drops. I don't wanna overdo it. Rub that in. Ooh, a little goes a long way for sure. And it doesn't feel oily, but it also doesn't quite feel like the Farzali Unicorn Essence. This kind of has a tackiness to it, so I think it'll work well as a primer too. Now let's move on to foundation, and I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This one's gonna give me some full coverage so I can cover up any imperfections, really get that flawless base. So I really like full coverage if I'm going on a date, you know, I want my skin to look as perfect as possible, and this is gonna cover up any imperfections really easily without looking too heavy or like cakey or anything like that. It's also very, very long lasting and doesn't really budge. So, you know, who knows? If you're making out at the end of the night and he's like smushing it around your face, it'll probably stay put because they don't call it stay in place for nothing. This is just one of my OG foundations that I know I can rely on. So if I'm doing something like important, like an event or date or whatever, I always go for this one. And don't forget to blend all the way down your neck and even down your chest. Now for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this. It reminds me of like the Tarte Shape Tape, but just less drying on your under eye. This is medium to full coverage, depending on how much you build it. So I'm gonna put that all in the high points of my face, down the bridge of my nose to highlight, and then also on my chin, because we are going full glam, baby. So let's blend that out using my beauty blender. I used a couple shades lighter than my foundation just to help brighten my under eye. Dating is so awkward, by the way. Like, I honestly forgot how to date. I used to be so cool and like good at flirting and all of that, and now I just like avoid dates like the plague, <laughs> but it's fine. I'll still glam my myself up ready for a date but I just won't really wanna go on one. You feel me? Love that, it makes my under eye look so flawless. So now let's bake and set the under eye because we don't wanna crease, we want it to be completely matte and flawless under there. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. Honestly, this is the first time I'm using this one. I don't know why I'm choosing to be so risky right now because if it gives me flashback, that would just be horrible for like a first date. Imagine, like take pictures with the guy and you end up looking like a crazy ghost. 
most under eye. And whatever's left over, like on my beauty blender, I'll just tap into my T-zone because I get really oily my T-zone. So if you're pushing the powder into your foundation, it's gonna just help to really keep those oils at bay and keep you matte longer and lock your foundation in. While that bakes, let's move on to brows. I'm gonna use the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Fling. I like this for my brows because I can really just imitate little small hairs, especially since I like to extend my brows in the front there. It makes it way less detectable. Basically like for a date or something, I would mostly just reach for all the products that I normally reach for and that I know I really like. And I'm just gonna use a spoolie brush to blend that in and make those lines look a little bit more natural. So brows are on and I did dust off that powder. I actually realized as I was dusting it off that it kind of gave my under eye a glow. Like it almost looks like I put highlight and I actually don't like that in a setting powder, especially if I'm baking, cause now my pores are a lot more noticeable because they're reflecting that light. So this is why we don't like to try new products when we have an important event or a date. <laughs> so now let's move on to bronzer. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in Bronze Babe. This is a product I know I love. I've used it many times. It's a beautiful shade, works with my complexion. It's gonna give me that perfect sun-kissed bronze. And you guys know, code Sylvia on anything on BH Cosmetics, it will take a percentage off of your order. So I'm gonna put that all along my hairline and of course the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm gonna tell you guys my worst date experience. I feel like this is a good video to do that. I think it was like grade 11 or 12, like I was still in high school and I went on a date with this older guy that literally like would not stop bugging me to go on a date with him. And he like was cool, you know, he seemed like a normal enough guy, like he was easy to talk to. And I was like, whatever, fine, I'll go on a date. But he was older. So I was like, you know, hesitant because I was a good girl. <laughs> and so he picked me up. He had like this really nice car and like he had this really good job and he was pretty cute, you know. I'm also gonna use that bronzer to contour my nose a bit. Look like our nose is perfectly straight. But anyways, yeah, back to the date. We were gonna go for dinner and a movie, you know, typical date stuff. So we went to the restaurant and I was underage. So technically like I couldn't really drink, but then he like managed to order me like three drinks and just like kept offering me drinks, which I was like fine with because I wanted to drink. Don't drink if you're underage kids, very bad. Don't recommend, but I did, I'll be honest. And I noticed like he wasn't drinking at all, which is good obviously because he was driving, but it also was kind of weird that he was like shoving drinks down my throat while he wasn't drinking at all and he's older. And he was like saying a lot of inappropriate jokes, which I was trying to play off like a normal person would that's trying to be polite. Feel the vibe. If I'm trying to play off your jokes, like stop it, then stop it. How are you gonna keep making these weird ass jokes, you know? So we went to the movies and it was like a scary movie and he was very touchy feely like the whole time. I was not giving signals to like be touchy feely with me, you know, but he just was. And now looking back, like if it was me now and that was happening, I probably would say something and let the person know that I'm feeling uncomfortable. But I think I just didn't want to be rude. So I just was like dealing with him being all touchy feely then the movie ended and it was time to go home like I was like expecting him to take me home but he just like drove me to his house without even consulting with me like hello it's late I am young, it's clearly past my bedtime. Okay, I wasn't like that lame. But again, like I didn't really say anything cause I didn't want to make things weird or like not be polite, you know? I didn't have like the confidence or whatever to just like say that I didn't want to go to his house or I don't know what it was, but yeah, it was a shitty experience. I just felt like uncomfortable the whole time. It was weird. And then he like kept trying to kiss me when he finally did drive me home, even though I was like not trying to do a good night kiss type of moment. And it was awkward. I ended up just like running out of the car and being like, sorry, thanks for the night. And then like I booked it in my house and then I never talked to him again. <laughs> and it was just, eh, eh, eh. no, never again, hated that. But yeah, moral of the story is ladies, Gentlemen, don't ever let yourself be put in situations that you're uncomfortable in like that because it ain't worth it and it honestly can be dangerous. But I definitely learned from that experience and never really let myself be put in that kind of situation again. You don't owe anybody your time or your attention or your affection. So don't let anybody like guilt you or make you feel like you do and make you uncomfortable when you don't because that's just unfair. Dating advice from Sylvia. <laughs> Next up, let's move on to blush. I'm gonna use the Tarte Pro Glow and Blush Palette and I'm gonna use this bright shimmery pink blush right on the corner here 
tapping off the excess so it doesn't look crazy when we apply it. And just lightly put that on the apples of my cheeks. We wanna have a little blush, you know? Make our date think that their jokes are funny, making us blush, but really, it's just that tart palette. <laughs> I do like a little bit of a shimmer in my blush. It just makes you look more youthful and gives you a nice glow. But if you do have really big pores or like texture on your skin, on the apples of your cheeks, then I would recommend doing a matte blush for sure. So last up of my complexion makeup will be the highlight. But before we do that, I'm gonna set my face. That way it'll be a little bit wet too. When we put the highlight, it'll be that much more blinding. It'll stick right on there. But I'm gonna use the Chanel Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. And I'm almost done this. I love it. I hate that it's so expensive and in such a small bottle. It's literally the perfect mist. And it just melts all your makeup together all your powders it makes your skin look like skin again and it just gives you this overall like hydrated dewy healthy look to your skin it's definitely comparable to mac fix plus if not like better i would say so now for highlight we're gonna go in with both libra and opal from my bh palette these are the only highlights that you need in your life honey i'm telling you right now they are blinding look at that we are glowing to the gods. So I put that on my cheekbones to catch the light, give us some high cheekbones. I'm also gonna put that on the bridge of my nose, again, to help with that nose contour and give the illusion of a straighter nose. Definitely for date night too, if you are gonna be wearing something that kind of shows your chest or your decolletage, is that what it's called? Decollete, decolletage, you know what I'm saying. I would recommend putting highlight on there too to catch the light, put it on your shoulders. Ooh and match your body to your face glow. So now let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna prime my lids using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Apply that all over my lid to help prep before we go in with the eyeshadow. Now that I shared my worst date experience, can you guys also share them in the comment section? I wanna know. Like, look at the difference. Ugh, blank canvas, scary. So now let's move on to eyeshadow. We are gonna be using my baby, of course. I have yet to show you guys a look with like the cranberry tones here. So we're gonna go in with those and create a romantic eye, which I think is perfect for date night. A cranberry eye is also perfect for like holiday parties too. So two birds with one stone, you know? So let's start out with Ginger as a transition shade. I'm gonna pack that on on the outer corner just above and into my crease, but really keeping that focused on the outer corner here. Like look at that pigment. It is unmatched for a palette at this price point. You know I would not play you guys. So once you have that color kind of in a C shape on the outer corner there, don't worry that it looks crazy right now. We're gonna go in with a clean blending brush and just a few that harsh line and really just blow out that shadow a little bit so it's much softer. And just go back and forth, bringing that kind of out and into the inner corner. So now that that's blended out, let's go in with Sisterhood and taking that on a much smaller brush, we're gonna pack that on on the outer corner, not going above the crease this time, still in that C shape. And blend those shades together with a clean blending brush back and forth until you don't see any harsh lines and it creates that really nice gradient between that orange shade and this berry color. It's so cool to finally see you guys getting your palettes now and all the looks that you're creating with them. You guys are tagging me and everything. I love it. I know that for some people it did take a little while for shipping, but with Black Friday and all that, I know that a lot of brands were having an issue of just like getting stuff out. So it did take a little bit longer than we thought, but it seems like everybody's getting their palettes now and I'm so excited. And everyone that's getting their palette seems to love it so much, which makes me so happy because that's what I was most worried about. About. I just wanted everyone to actually like the palette. It's getting great reviews and just awesome feedback. So that just makes me feel so good. And like I did something right. So I made it for you guys and you're loving it. That's all I could ask for. I'm also gonna bring those shades to my bottom lash line. First starting with that orange shade, Ginger. Connecting that smokiness to the lower lash line. And we're gonna create that same gradient close to our lashes. There we go. And then now taking an even smaller smudging brush, taking that sisterhood cream cranberry shade and keeping it much closer to my lower lash line and just blending it out and into that orange shade without covering it up completely and only taking that about halfway. Now on a damp brush, we're gonna take rosé and I'm gonna put that all over my lid where I haven't yet put any shadow. Oh. Stunning. Look how much glitter is in that. It is so beautiful. It's just catching the light. It goes perfectly with these cranberry tones too. And then as there's a little bit less product on your brush, you're gonna bring it to that outer corner to blend it into that cranberry shade. Now we're gonna make it that much more dramatic by taking Unapologetic, the black shade in the palette. I'm gonna take that and keep it really close to my lash line, just right on the outer corner of my upper lashes. I'm just packing it on at first and then slowly blending it up 
and out. I love this black in this palette, you guys. It's just so jet black. So the eyeshadow is basically done, but just for added glam, you know, for the holidays, for date night, we wanna go extra. I'm gonna use the Mermaid Glitter Gel from Tarte, and I'm just gonna put a few of these big glitter specks on top of the rose shade. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. So for mascara, I'm gonna use the KKW mascara, which is honestly quickly becoming my absolute favorite, which I did not expect. It makes my lashes so long and thick and just bomb. I almost forgot, I do wanna highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna use the shade Prince. I'm just applying that right in my inner corner. This is the perfect inner corner highlight, you guys. It's so icy. And I'll also apply a little bit of that on my brow bone. So now the eye look is basically done. I'm just gonna throw on some lashes off camera. Be right back. So I are done they're looking super glam honestly i got a little carried away but that's okay they look bomb especially good for like a christmas party for lips now i'm gonna use half red lip pencil for a mac with a ysl rouge pour couture lipstick i think in the shade 70 but i'm not sure it's just a very soft creamy pinkish nude i kind of want to match the eye but not too much you know so i'll put on that lip color first and then we'll line and blend with this darker lip pencil for dates i definitely would recommend going with something soft and like creamy and easy to touch up especially if you're going for dinner or something you don't want to do like a super bold or like matte lip you want something that when it fades it's not that noticeable so this completes the makeup look now let's fix the hair i'll show you guys how to get these really cute small ringlet curls so I already did these curls with my hair like two days ago. Okay, don't judge me, I dry shampooed. I do recommend you wash your hair before your date. But I have like 10 pounds of extensions in my hair and it is way too much effort to wash them. Ain't no man worth that. <laughs> so I just put dry shampoo in and I'm just gonna perfect some of the curls since they did get really frizzy when I slept on it. But you'll get the idea on how to do your whole head like this if you do decide to do that. First, I like to protect my hair. I've been using these Moroccan oil products which smell so good, you guys. They smell divine. But this is a good heat protector. It's important to protect your hair. So I spritz that all over and then it's super frizzy. So to get back some of that silkiness and that shininess and tone down the frizz, I'm gonna use the Moroccan oil treatment. I got these little travel size ones as a gift from Sephora with my points, but I'm for sure gonna buy the big ones because they just smell so good. So then I'd recommend parting your hair. Usually I do like half up half down, two sections, and just clip it. And then I use this Hotshot Tools barrel. It's very, very small. I'll try and link it in the description, but basically I'm gonna go over the curls that have lost their touch, basically all of them. And you wanna take very, very small sections and just wrap them piece by piece around the barrel, kind of twisting the hair as you go. Keep it on there for a few seconds and then release. And you get these really, really pretty ringlet curls. And then I just continue doing that with my entire hair basically it takes a long time but once you get in the groove of it it gets easier and faster and I don't pull out these curls kind of until the end we'll tousle them once I'm done the bottom half I'll hairspray it while it's still cooling down. So then those curls hold. Then I'll clip the bottom part back so it's kind of out of the way while we work on the top half. So once all the curls are done, I'm gonna just hairspray everything and then kind of run my fingers through them so they're not as perfect. There we go. Then you can wear it down. You can clip half of it up, which is how I've kind of been wearing it. And it's just like big, sexy J-Lo hair, perfect for date night, Christmas parties, or just to feel extra cute and change it up a bit. So now my final steps that I would kind of do before a date, I would just put on some jewelry. I never forget jewelry and I never leave the house also without spritzing some perfume on. My current favorite is the brand new Huda Beauty one, the K. Ali vanilla scent. It smells so good. Everyone that smells this literally dies over it. So now I'm just throwing on some hoops and a necklace from Anthropology. And then the final step would obviously be to get out of your PJs and throw on a cute outfit. My probably go-to date night outfit would just be some really cute tight jeans or maybe even cargo pants, you know, just make your butt look good. And then maybe a fancier top with a leather jacket and some really cute boots. That's like a classic date night outfit, you know? So I've changed into my date night top and my date night cargo pants. Feeling cute. Prince, quiet down. I just put half my hair back in a little clip. It was getting wild on me, but I like the style. We're liking the look, but this concludes the final look. We did my hair, makeup, and outfit. I really love how the makeup turned out. I love my cranberry tones in my palette. They look beautiful, and they are perfect for the holidays too. Honestly, the shade range in my palette is good for like any occasion. It's a fact.
But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter the palette giveaway going on right now. Click the link in my description and then click right here to purchase my palette if you haven't yet. And then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.